In this video, we're going to be talking about how to solve a limit using substitution. And this is the very simplest way that we can solve for a limit. When we're given a limit problem like this one, the limit as x approaches 3 of the function that follows it, x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x plus 5. Sometimes we're just going to be able to plug in the value that x is approaching. So we're saying as x gets really close to 3, what's the value of this function? Well, sometimes it's going to work out where we can just plug 3 into this function and we'll be able to get a real number answer. That'll be the value of the limit because it's the value that the function approaches as x gets really close to 3. Now, oftentimes this is not going to be the case. If you try to plug in 3 for x, you're going to get some kind of undefined value or indeterminate function form. So you get 0 in the denominator of a fraction, or you'd end up with 0 over 0 in a fraction, or infinity times 0, something like that, something that is undefined, something that we can't evaluate. And in that case, you're going to have to use a different technique to evaluate the limit, and we'll get into those techniques in further videos. But this is the simplest way to evaluate a limit, and oftentimes, if the limit is more complicated, we'll use a different technique to simplify the limit, and then we'll come back to substitution once we've got this function simplified to a point point where we can just plug in the value that we're approaching. But in this case, when we do substitution, all we do is plug in this value here that x approaches. And once we plug it in, we take away this limit notation here. So we're saying the limit as x approaches 3. Once we plug in 3, this goes away. So we're just going to get 3 cubed minus 4 times 3 squared plus 2 times 3 plus 5. 3 cubed is going to give us 27. 3 squared is 9, 9 times 4 is 36, so we end up with a minus 36. 2 times 3 is 6, so we get plus 6, and then plus 5. If we just do the arithmetic here, we're going to see 27 minus 36 is a negative 9. Negative 9 plus 6 is a negative 3. Negative 3 plus 5 is a positive 2. So we end up with the real number answer positive 2. So what this means then is that as we take x really, really close to the value x equals 3, we get closer and closer to the value x equals 3. This function gets closer and closer to the value y equals 2. So we approach the value y equals 2 as x gets really close to x equals 3. So that's what that means. And because we got a real number answer, we know that substitution works in this function. If we had gotten something other than a real number answer, something undefined or something indeterminate, we would have had to use a different method. But because we get a real number answer here, we know we can use substitution to evaluate this limit.